Hello, what's up, YouTube? It's Thales Mustache, and today I'm gonna show you guys the best level 5 support pound build. Yes, it's finally ready. It took me roughly two weeks to get every single piece of equipment uh, needed to make it, but it's completely possible. Now I can show you guys. You can see at level 5, this pound right here has over 1000 HP and stamina, and has rank 3 and mage vocation as well as fighter and strider vocations enabled, as I'm gonna show you guys right here. Uh, you can see it has the other vocations enabled, so it can be used to manipulate the results for Bitter Black uh, purification. So now let me show you its features. Uh, at level 5, it has a 599 magic with stagger knockdown power of 341, and defense it has 644. And magic defense it has 871 you can see it is uh, very strong and tanky and it has immunity to poison blindness sleep possession silence carcet magic lowered defense and magic defenses so this bit right here will be uh, pretty much tanky enough to carry through the whole game until the pause game without any problem so you can see for the skills here we're using the Anodyne, Halidon, Holy Boom, Engel and Leaven. It does not have any core skills enabled or augments because we use it all the discipline points to unlock uh, the desired vocations and those skills right here which are gonna make this build pretty much helpful in any situation. So you can see here for the inclination we're using primary as utilitarian so it will use all the knowledge it, uh, it receives from every single character that hires her in order to help in the battle and guardian because i wanted to stay uh, as close as possible to your character healing it all the time with halidon uh, anodyne and the special effect that i'm going to show you guys from the great uh, carrion's mantle it has a very good knowledge people have been uh, hiring this pound right here possibly 40 to 50 times a day so it's a very good pound if you want to get free rift crystals you can see the appearance rating and battle rating helpfulness are all very high and this pound has been hired already hundreds of times so okay guys let's go to the equipment for uh, the weapon it's using the legends might which is negotiable you need this and you can get it as soon as you reach grand soren you can buy it for, from Black Cat, it's uh, somewhat expensive, but it does really worth it. You can see at Gold Dragon Forge, it has a total mag magic attack of 525, and it has the special effect of instantly resurrecting any pawn that wears it. So let's say this pawn gets killed by some boss or something, it will instantly resurrect. As long as it's not, it, it, it was not killed by death itself, uh, it's not... Uh, drowning in a river, uh, falling into an oblivion, or being petrified. So, okay, so this is a very helpful bonus, you want it. So for the headgear we're using the Carrion Veil, uh, Gold Dragon Forge, with the bonus that extend ration of equipped skills. That means when it uses Anodyne or Heldon, it will remain active for about 5 to 10 seconds longer. So that's very helpful. If you don't have the Carrion Veil, you can use the Adept's Head, which is much easier to, to get. You can get it from a uh, bitter black armor level two, and it has the same uh, bonus effect. It does increase the duration of equipped skills the same way, but the defense veils and the resistance are much inferior compared to the carry on vial. So for the chest piece, we're using the silver chest plate, which uh, has a very fair uh, defense and resistance. The carry on mantle with the bonus that has a slight resurrective effect on pounds near you. That means if you're standing close to this pound right here and your health bar is not at maximum, it will slowly recover all the way to the maximum. So its, it, it's recovery rate is about 4 HP per second. So it's pretty good with very high resistance and defense veils. If you don't have the carry on mantle with this bonus right here, you can use the depth robe uh, that has a continuously restorative effect of 3.5 HP per second. So it's not much inferior, but it's not the best piece available. So I'm showing you guys the best setup available for this kind of support palm. So, okay, let's move to the globes. We're using the carrion claws. 
that extend duration of attribute bulls apply it to you. That means if you're using bulls that apply to your whole party, such as Stagios Miracle, uh, Salomat Secret, or uh, Mushroom Pottage, things like that, it will stay longer, last longer, the boost of, of effects. So the pawn will be stronger for longer period of time. For the leg clothing, we are using the Delta Guard, which increases the defense dramatically and has a very good resistance also. And for the legs, we're using the, the carry on greaves with the effect that increase maximum item carrying capacity. That means that this pawn right here is able to carry an additional 20 kilograms before it gets over encumbered and before it even gets to light encumbrance. It's always very light. Uh, so this is very helpful because sometimes you want to use your pawns as beasts of burden and this is absolutely helpful in most situations. So for the cape I'm using the Hellfire Cloak because it has some, uh, it has the best defense veils, veils of all the cloaks in the game, but you can use any cape you want, it doesn't really matter much because it does not have a special effect. For the rings we're using the Savior Ring, which you can get from a quest that I'm gonna show you guys below in the description. Uh, where to get it and how do you do this? It boosts maximum health and stamina by 500 points, roughly doubling the amount of HP and stamina we have. You can see we already have 1046 HP and 1100 stamina, which is very, very good for a level 5 Palmer. For the other rings, we're using skill rings. I um, chose to use the ring that increased the power of Anodyne skill since I want this to be the best healer in the game. So it has Grand Anodyne with this skill equip it, but you can also choose to use the, the skill ring that enhances Holy Boom. So the Holy Boom will turn into Holy Pact less and longer and with more power. Or you can use the skill ring right here that increases the power of the skills Angle 11, making it Grand Angle and Grand Levin, uh, increasing its power uh, pretty much. Uh, Ingo and Levin are very helpful because Ingo will inflict, uh, will burn the targets while Levin will stun them and knock them down. So that's a very helpful skill to use in your palm. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this build right here. It does take a while to make it perfect, but it's totally worth it because, man, you're gonna get millions, millions of rift crystals every now and then. So thank you so much guys, if you want more details, make sure you check the description of this video below. So I will tell you guys how to get every single piece of equipment and how to get uh, the, the discipline points you need to make this pawn possible with rank 3 as a mage and with the other uh, vocations unlocked as well. So thank you so much guys and until the next episode!